Hello, I'm Nona Melkonian with SFGov TV. Along with the League of Women Voters of San Francisco, I'm here to discuss Proposition F, a ballot measure that will be before the voters on Tuesday, November 4th. Proposition F is an ordinance that would increase the height limit for buildings on the 28-acre development site in the Pier 70 area from 40 feet to 90 feet. Proposition F would provide that all aspects of development other than the height limit increase will continue to be subject to public approval processes, including environmental review under the California Environmental Quality Act. The height limit increase would not become effective until the port, after compliance with CEQA, approves the development plan. Proposition F would make it city policy to encourage the following major features in developing the site. Nine acres of waterfront parks and recreation areas that would provide public access to the bay, approximately 1,000 to 2,000 new residential units, most of these units would be rental units, and 30% would be below market rate and affordable for middle and low income households. Restoration and reuse of historic structures, space for arts and cultural activities, nonprofits, small scale manufacturing, retail, and neighborhood services. Preservation of the artist community currently located in the Pier 70 area, between 1 million to 2 million square feet of new commercial and office space, parking and transportation improvements, and a significant number of permanent jobs and revenue to support public housing facilities. If you vote yes, you want to increase the height limit for new buildings on the 28-acre development site in the Pier 70 area from 40 feet to 90 feet, Encourage the city to proceed with public approval processes, including environmental review for this mixed-use project, and make it city policy to encourage parks, housing, cultural space, and job creation for this site. If you vote no, you do not want to increase the height limit or adopt the city policy. I'm here with Kelly Pretzer from the Yes on F campaign and a proponent of Proposition F. We're also joined by Dr. Terrence Faulkner, Delegate to the Coalition for San Francisco Neighborhoods and an opponent of the measure. Thank you both for being here. I'd like to start with some opening remarks from each of you. Kelly, would you like to speak first? Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today and to tell you about Proposition F. I support Proposition F and I stand with a diverse coalition of individuals and organizations, including current elected officials, former Mayor Art Agnos, the Sierra Club, and the residents and neighborhood associations closest to Pier 70 to support Proposition F and create parks, jobs, and housing. Pier 70 is located near Mission Bay in Bayview in an area along the waterfront where people who live right next to the bay have absolutely no access to the water today. Proposition F will increase public access to the waterfront tearing down chain link and barbed wire fences that have blocked citizens' access for decades and opening up the waterfront to neighborhood parks. That's why a remarkable group of people have come forward to say yes on Proposition F. Join the Sierra Club, nearby residents, the Democratic and Republican parties, business and labor organizations, affordable housing advocates, parks advocates, and more by coming out to the polls in support of Proposition F on Election Day. Thank you. Terrence, would you like to state your opening statement? Uh, yes. Um, the Coalition for San Francisco Neighborhoods, which is a large federation of civic clubs, about 48 different groups currently, um, they split wide open on this issue and went no endorsement. Um, the big issue involved with Proposition F and several of these other development things is San Francisco is a small peninsula. We have the densest population per square mile of any of California's 58 counties. Uh, as a result, um, there are people who want, to, who want to increase the population of San Francisco up to over a million people. It's currently um, 850,000, approximately. And um, it's a matter of just how much we can fit within San Francisco. And we'll pay a price for it if we have too many in terms of auto accidents, uh, other problems. And it's a matter of coming up with the right population for San Francisco. And if we go too high, a lot of problems are going to result. Thank you. Kelly, how will passing of this amendment impact city government's management of future development projects? Thank you for the question. And, and first, I'd like to be clear that Proposition F only pertains to Pier 70, and it doesn't include any other waterfront areas uh, throughout San Francisco. Um, the Pier 70 plan has come out of many, many years of community input and outreach. Uh, and Proposition F is really just an additional step in that process. 
the ballot measure itself actually is very clear that the environmental review process, CEQA, as well as the planning uh, process are in no way uh, shortened or limited or um, subjugated that they will, it will, there will be a thorough review of the project. Uh, so this is really an additional check-in uh, with the community and, and stakeholders to make sure that uh, folks feel good about what's happening at Pier 70 and there will be a long uh, process with many opportunities for public input and public review uh, in the years to come. Thank you. Terrence, your thoughts on Kelly's comments? Yes. Actually, what it, the reason for the Proposition F is uh, they want to waive the height limits uh, because the city charter was recently amended uh, for the port areas where they have height limits that are, that are binding and they have to be waived by public vote. And that's, that's the gravamen of the whole thing. In other words, uh, that a public waiver is needed uh, to build higher than the old height limits. Um, one of the problems with all this is, uh, this is earthquake country. Uh, we have serious seismic problems, the 1906 earthquake being, of course, the most dramatic. The, 19, uh, the 1989 earthquake was another one, the Loma Prieta, and so on. Um, as a result of this, uh, the more high rise we have, um, the more dangers involved for the public. Uh, we've had a lot of problems over the years in these things. and. Um, 1906 was the worst, and it's a matter of just how, bi how big do we want to build and um, what will be the long-term implications. Frankly, the more one- and two-story buildings we have and the less high-rise, the less people are going to be hurt if we have a serious earthquake of the style of 1906. Thank you. Will increasing height limits and thus increasing number of units reduce the demand for moderate-priced housing in San Francisco? As was mentioned earlier, uh, Proposition F is indeed fully compliant with Proposition B, which was passed in June of 2014. Um, San Francisco is in a serious housing crisis today, and part of the plans for Pier 70 are to, that a full 30% of all uh, housing units built will be below market rate and available to middle and low income families and individuals. That's almost three times as much as city law requires. Uh, but in addition to just building housing, uh, Proposition F includes a number of other public benefits, including uh, over nine acres of parks and playgrounds, and that triples the amount of open space that's currently in Dogpatch today. Um, in addition, there's rehabilitation and reuse of three historic buildings listed on the, as part of a National Register Historic District. Uh, there's the preservation of an artist community currently at Pier 70 um, by, the, by building new affordable studio space, the investment of $20 million for transportation improvements, and the investment of over $200 million for infrastructure improvements, include, including improvements for earthquake safety and to address future sea level rise. Thank you. Terrence, your response? Yeah. Again, um, it's a matter of housing density. Uh, the more density we have within San Francisco, and we have the highest density uh, per square mile at any county in the state. Um, the more problems we're going to have with traffic, the more problems we're going to have with auto accidents, uh, the more problems potentially with contagion in case of diseases. Um, San Francisco, as some people may know, 1900 to 1906 had an epidemic of the bubonic plague, the first one in American history. And fortunately, they were able to stamp it out, but it was a serious threat, and it was based largely on the density of our population and because we were the largest city on the West Coast at that time. And uh, basically, uh, what, we, what we need to do is to keep the population from being too dense for a lot of reasons, especially because we're earthquake country as well as everything else. But I mean, uh, San Francisco has a dense population and also uh, with too much high rise, uh, given the fact of where we are, right next to the San Andreas fault line, um, and right next to um, two major tectonic plates, plates uh, the North American plate uh, versus the Pacific plate. And we've been hurt by it before, and we could be again. Um, the less high rise we have, uh, the less density we have, the safer people are. Thank you. We have a bit of time left, and I'd like to use this time to get your final remarks. Since Kelly was first to give her opening statement, Terrence, would you like to speak first to give your final remarks? Right. Um, really, this is a question of uh, what we want to see for the future of San Francisco. That's what the Coalition for San Francisco Neighborhoods was discussing, and the board split wide open on this, uh, because uh, a lot of people are concerned about too much housing density and all the problems I just related in terms of earthquake safety and all the other issues, and auto accidents, et cetera. 
Um, it's really a matter of what do we want to do uh, for the future of San Francisco. And if we want to, if we want to pile um, a million and a half people into San Francisco, it can be done. Uh, we currently have 850,000, but it'll be done at a big price. It'll hurt our livability, and in the event of a major earthquake, um, it, could, it, it could lead to disaster. Thank you. Kelly, your final thoughts. Thank you again for the opportunity to be here. Pier 70 was once an economic hub of vibrant industrial activity that is today mostly forgotten and blocked off from the public. Proposition F will revitalize this abandoned, rundown, and inaccessible area into an attractive community with waterfront parks, jobs, and housing. The revitalization of Pier 70 means an investment of $20 million to improve transit service in the area and the creation of hundreds of new units of affordable housing. Nine acres of waterfront parks and playgrounds would triple the amount of parks and open space in Dogpatch today. Plus, there will be thousands of new jobs. And that's why Proposition F has united people who don't often agree on these issues to create consensus. Proposition F is endorsed by residents and neighborhood groups of nearby communities, the Sierra Club, the Democratic, Republican, and Green Party, the Affordable Housing Alliance, and many, many more organizations and civic leaders. I would like to encourage San Franciscans to come to the polls and vote yes on Proposition F. Thank you both for your comments and your time. We hope that this discussion has been informative. For more information on this and other ballot measures in this year's election, please visit the San Francisco Elections website at sfelection.org. Remember, early voting is available at City Hall Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can also vote at City Hall on the two weekends before Election Day. And if you don't vote early, be sure to vote on Tuesday, November 4th.